Hi, this is Tony Cook, and this is What's in the Box. Today, what's in the box is a brand new in scale diesel locomotive, Pico America's 65 ton Whitcomb Center Cab locomotive. This model has been much anticipated by many, and we're going to open up and show you what comes in the box. It comes in a two piece jewel case, and this model is available as a DCC sound equipped release. Wrapped in film, and here's the little guy. This Atlantic Coastline is also available as a road name in a new HO scale release. And wow, really nicely done from this, this first impression. Die cast metal body. I'll show you a picture of the mechanism there. That's a picture taken by my assistant editor, Shane Mason, at Model Railroad News. Underneath the uh, clear plastic tray, we have an exploded parts diagram. Nice handy, uh, the, your function keys for DCC. Okay, let's power up this little Pico 65-ton Whitcomb Diesel locomotive, this in-scale model, has DCC and sound. This is Pico's own electronics for this. The startup procedure. And as I mentioned, some of the European DCC function mapping occasionally gets some knocks for being not the same values that we're used to in North America as far as like F0 is light, F1 is bell, and such. On this little switcher, I'm looking at the DCC function chart, and I do see that it looks like it follows the usual values. This has Pico Smart Decoder XP 5.1 with Sound Max 18, so it's I think it has an 18 plug uh, for the standard DC version for conversion to DCC. This one is set up with factory DCC. And let's give a listen to, this is the factory setting F1 bell, and then F2 is a longhorn, and then F3 is a shorthorn, You get cab shades, and then these are skirts for the side of the fuel tanks. But there is the first release of the 65-ton Whitcomb diesel locomotive model in N-Scale from Pico America. I'll put a link down in the description so you can find out more about it on Pico's website. And that's what's in the box today. Thanks for watching.